So in this movie, we're actually going to rearrange some of the default result slide options. Now, there's a couple things to know how this works, and we're going to walk you through that. For the most part, what you have here are just text boxes. I'm going to bring this up. You can delete them. You can change them. You know, things like passing score, your score, this line, the results. None of these are really tied to any sort of programming logic. They, they can be amended, deleted, whatever you want to do. So a couple things. I The results I don't need. I'm just going to click delete. I don't need this divider line. And passing score, I'm going to get rid of this and, and I know this is really hard to see right here. I'm going to stretch these out a little bit and talk about them in just a moment. But I can delete this one. I'm not going to use, I'm not going to show the learner what they needed to pass. If I want to keep it, totally can keep it, that's fine. So the way this works is when po uh, Storyline is working with variables and displaying variables, we always begin with a percent sign and we end with a percent sign. So in this example right here, we're actually going to tell uh, Storyline pulling in this score percent. It's a variable that score uh, Storyline creates and uses when it creates a quiz. Nothing we can do to uh, use that variable other than just read the current results. We can read it, we just can't write or change it. The second percentage is just to show the percentage correct. So if I do a quick control F12, just to preview this one slide, you can see how it's looking. So this zero right here is what was wrapped in that percent sign, score dot percent percent. And this extra percent is just telling you the percentage points. I don't need the actual points right here. This is sort of a uh, uh, the second part of our uh, variable. You can see that at first there's the parentheses and then it goes into the percent results one dot score points. So that's just another variable talking about how many points were available. I don't need that one. So I'm just going to select that and delete it. So what I'm left with is Storyline's uh, auto-generated variable results one, right, for the first results and then score percentage. And then this extra percentage is just showing me the percentage correct. If I were to open up my project variables, I could see that these are already here now created for me. I don't need to do anything with them, just kind of walking you through what is happening or what we can use to modify. So what we want to modify is this one and change the way it looks, change the size. Now it's really long right here, but the longest it could ever be is 100, three characters, right, 100%. So I'm going to make this bold and I'm going to make it really big and it's going to be a little tough to work with for a, a little bit, but I'll show you how we can manage this. So as large as that is, if I press Control F12 again, it's just going to be a zero percentage. So it's not really taking up that much space, right? It's got to show me the variable name so I can, if I needed to work with it, I can get it. I certainly don't need all of that. So if I grab the handle and drag it way out, right? And I can see that it's obviously a lot larger. Put it right there. And that's where I want my percent scores to be. And I can put something over here like your score. If I zoom in, press Control F12. Hey, that looks a lot more manageable, right? And don't worry about how the success and failure rates right here. We'll go ahead and customize those as well. So. On this base layer, let's just say that's fine. We're, you know, spend too much time with it. Results, I don't need those on there. And if I wanted to review the quiz with my own buttons, I could bring it in. I'll leave it there for now. So let's go ahead and just customize the success. And I'm just going to delete those two and then paste some text that I had uh, from a different project. Go ahead, failure, take these off. And I'll just paste another one in. So just the success and failure right there. If I can put some X's and check marks and all that. So essentially we have set up, we kind of customized the text here. And if I decided I wanted to use my own uh, review button, you know, I can drag one in. I can copy, say, the trigger that's being used on that current button. So control, uh, just right click copy, select it, and control V to paste it. And then I can get rid of this button and same thing. So just a lot of ways you can customize the result slide using your own graphics, your own uh, text treatments, as well as uh, just sort of rearranging the existing scores and, and uh, percentages that Storyline automatically generates.
In the next movie, we'll go ahead and actually copy and paste our feedback meter into the result slide, and then we'll uh, use triggers to wire up the, uh, uh, the actions that will actually show the percentage based on uh, the score the learner uh, earns in the quiz.